Hello to friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I have for you a, a little small automatic knife that I would like to talk about and uh, I must uh, say that this, this is uh, something that I really really do like to uh, to get my hands on maybe once uh, once a while once a year or uh, it depends on the on the situation of course because i really i must say i really like the the button lock or the plunge lock uh, on a knife mostly you can find them on automatic knives and some high-end customs but sometimes also on a large variety of uh, let's say cheap uh, chinese made automatic uh, knives that being said uh, here on the table is the Heller 83326, nothing special, just a number. It will come to you in this uh, small uh, box. So this is a uh, German company that probably outsource all of their knives in China. Mostly they are uh, some OEM uh, factories they will just uh, slap on uh, your logo and this is for the majority of the time of what was the norm uh, probably mainly uh, here in Europe when I remember in, back in the days 15-20 years ago usually all knives uh, were, were made in China some of uh, some traditional knives were of course made in, in Italy and Germany the tr tradition still remains to this day but but if you did go to a uh, 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 in my home city, there was uh, a in a, in a local market, so it was a large building, uh, two-story building, and there was a a service who made uh, keys, so they um, duplicated keys, and they uh, all always had some on the display, some boxers, some knives, some uh, self-defense tools. Uh, uh, pepper sprays and so on and uh, usually I bought uh, once a while a knife from them <laughs> I will probably one day show them here to you and uh, but now uh, let us continue uh, with this uh, with this video okay so the the Heller 83326 is a full plastic coil spring operated uh, switchblade it has probably some kind of, of uh, titanium nitrite uh, black or black teflon coating. I know the material. I could not find any informations. Uh, basically, the the seller <laughs> from who I bought this knife had only this one piece, and after I bought it, <laughs> the 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 side regarding this knife disappeared. But yeah, it has a metal uh, button. And one nice feature, of course, is this uh, plastic sheet. This is some kind of molded ABS plastic, uh, separated with few parts and glued together. So, uh, what I would use this knife for is probably just when you are lounging around your apartment, maybe in, in your uh, in your house, have some kind of of. of maybe jogging pants or pajamas or sweatpants because yes this thing is 40 grams and that is with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, with, uh, with the sheet so that is 1.4 ounces without it it will be lighter at 30.5 and one ounce so uh, i did give you the weight just to emphasize the lightness this is completely uh, disappearing in my hand yeah, uh, let's talk about the dimensions because that is also a funny, uh, maybe, uh, information you would like to know. So the overall length is 14.1 centimeter or 5.5 inches. The blade length is 5.8 centimeters or 2.3 inches. The handle is 8.4 centimeters or 3.3 inches. The blade width is 1.9 centimeters or 0 0.75 inches. And the blade thickness is 2.5 millimeters or 0 0.1 inch. The handle thickness is 1.4 centimeters or 0 0.55 inches. The blade is made out of 420, so this is probably 
as low as you can get uh, uh, yeah it is so uh, this is stainless steel of course uh, mostly used on some uh, old uh, old uh, uh, marine or, or should I say sailors knives it will really uh, take a little bit uh, longer to rust if it is exposed to water so basically probably therefore they have given it a coating to not to be uh, rusted all over and it has plunge lock like I mentioned so nice and automatic so here is in the sheet as night molded in uh, texturing on the scales to give you a little bit more traction I must say uh, there is a good amount of flex let me take out my jean pocket just to show you uh, you can you could wear it like this as you can see it is it will be nicely and or you can also probably carry it like like this or without it in your fifth uh, gym pocket and like I mentioned I, I really really like these uh, small funny uh, automatic knives uh, I have collected uh, a bunch of them through the years so uh, before I show you some of them <laughs> uh, let's talk about the pricing so uh, this was uh, 11 euros so uh, yeah nothing uh, that expensive if you like uh, these items to play with maybe fidget with or just uh, carry them uh, in your spare time around not to if you don't uh, want to uh, to carry a heavy knife then yeah it is a nice option but I don't know if it is uh, still available I did find one on eBay but uh, yeah Maybe if you uh, look around for Heller and the model number 83326, you could probably find one. But uh, this is more just a uh, funny uh, a little knife. Not that you you should go run off and buy one. So, but let me show you a few uh, size comparisons and also talk about. Here I have uh, one one really old one uh, this was probably from uh, from my friend uh, Brad uh, back in the days when he was uh, also here on YouTube and uh, did uh, produce lots of uh, knives videos and uh, in one of those he did sold some of his knives and I bought this one I hope it's, it's from him it is a I would say a higher quality knife because it has uh, aluminium or it's aluminium or steel aluminium or zinc who knows but yeah no branding stainless steel 440 has a better <laughs> blaze seal than the, the, the heller also has a safety and this is a open safety or oh, no it's not functional let me check it once again, maybe I have not initiated oh, it doesn't work, so yeah <laughs> roughly the same size, a little bit larger then I have here something like this which emulates a I would say something like a Benchmade, old Benchmade this is definitely some kind of zinc alloy because uh, it has some kind of um, a rubbery coating on it not that pleasant uh, but yes uh, it did deteriorate uh, because of the time this is I know 10 11 years old maybe 12 years old and also the spring is uh, not that uh, uh, hard Then uh, let me continue with this. I got this one from my sister probably 
17 years ago. This is obviously a uh, Boguszewski style spike uh, knockoff uh, from uh, that bench made it produce and it's made by Ekron. This was one of those companies who did produce a large variety of uh, different uh, designs uh, as, a, as a part of the OEM uh, catalog and you can just uh, buy a knife you like and they would laser engrave a logo on it. <laughs> yeah. Then of course, uh, let us continue with, uh, with something more known and also I must say I really like uh, the automatic line from uh, Genzo. I lately uh, did miss that they started to produce uh, new knives, uh, uh, new automatic knives of course, uh, they are long time not produced anymore, they are some on stock, so if you like Genzo Auto then uh, go on eBay and search for some, maybe they will uh, sell uh, on some web shops also, but uh, probably when they are gone, they are gone, I don't know if they are still producing them, some of them are still on uh, AliExpress, so check them out. Uh, yeah, it, it is a sad part of the of the knife collecting, but uh, as years go by, companies evolve and I am just blessed and happy that I could complete the whole collection and have all of them. So this is one of them. <clears throat> then of course, another plunge rock from my friend Brett is uh, this, uh, this is uh, Spring Assisted. I forgot the name, but this is a uh, newer um, Gerber, and it has the, those uh, nice powdered coating, uh, powdered finish coating, black oxide coating on the blade, partially serrated. Really nice uh, EDC blade with a deep carry pocket clip. Sadly, it has on only one position uh, which is my opinion not that safe so I I did carry it uh, on my on my uh, offside so as a as a backup okay let me put this uh, these two back and now let me show you some bokers so this one is my uh, 74 Kalashnikov, which uh, did start his life as your standard 74, which is uh, a manual uh, plunge lock opener. So manual plunge lock opener means uh, this is a type 42 conform, or how to how the Germans call it. It basically, if you have a, a larger knife, uh, you cannot have a uh, one-handing uh, deployment on it. And uh, that means you had to push the button and open it. So you cannot use a gravity uh, or centrifugal force so that you, uh, you push the button and then flick it open. It did not function like that. So I had to mill out some pre-milling was uh, started on the inside of the blade, like probably Burker Sneaky, Sneaky of them did. Uh, they thought about that uh, people would like to convert them, or maybe these scales are the same that uh, are now on uh, other Kalashnikovs. Those are automatic, so I did have to uh, drill out. This is this is aluminium, so with the Dremel I I drilled out a layer. Uh, deeper and uh, put in a probably TR4. Let me check. Yeah, this should be a TR4 spring, uh, which is used in the Protec. So, probably my favorite knife from Protec, uh, the Tactical Rescue, Tactical Rescue TR4.1. And then I have one more. This is sadly also out of production. And this was uh, a automatic version of the 74 sold in the United States. Uh, 
House 8 made in Taiwan with the uh, Warncliffe uh, blade configuration. So yeah. So now we 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 did come from Heller to uh, a few hundred bucks uh, Protec, but. Uh, this should just show you that I really, really appreciate and uh, like these button lock or plunge lock uh, type of knives. Uh, I would say it is a great option if you are a little bit conscious about your uh, finger safety. Because usually if you, are, you have an automatic knife, you will close it that way that no fingers do come in the path of the opening. We can probably do something uh, if uh, you are skilled enough. You can probably uh, do closing with white hand, but I certainly do not recommend it. Just uh, be careful when you are handling. These are obviously sharp tools and can hurt you. Okay, so let me put this aside and once more display only the heller. 83326. If you have any questions, please leave comments down below. I am more than happy to reply as soon as I can. I really appreciate uh, your uh, view time. It is not uh, easy uh, these days. And um, I, I hope everybody is healthy and has everything that, uh, that you need for uh, cover your, uh, your family and loved ones. So please be safe and uh, wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you soon. Bye.